टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मिनकॉस्की इन इक्वेलिटी दी मिनकॉस्की इन इक्वेलिटी दिस इज थियरम नंबर टू थियरम नंबर टू थियरम नंबर टू दी मिनकॉस्की इन इक्वेलिटी दी मिनिकॉस्कीज इन इक्वेलिटी इफ यस इज इक्वल टू इफ यस इज इक्वल टू एस एन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी and t is equal to tn t suffix n n is equal to 1 to infinity r in l square then then s plus t is equal to sn plus tn n is equal to 1 to infinity is in l square is in l square and and summation n is equal to 1 to infinity sn plus tn bracket square bracket raised to 1/2 bracket raised to 1/2 less than or equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity sn square raised to 1 by 2 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity tn square raised to 1 by 2 One by two. This is the statement of Minkowski's inequality. Now we prove this Minkowski's inequality. Yes, is in L square. The sequence yes is equal to yes and n is equal to one to infinity is in L square. If sigma yes and square is convergent or sigma yes and square is less than infinity. Sigma s n square is less than infinity. Proof. Since by hypothesis, proof of this theorem. Since by hypothesis, s is equal to s suffix n. N is equal to one to infinity, and t is equal to. Tn n is equal to one to infinity r in L square. Therefore, by definition of the class L square, by definition, by definition of the class L square L two or L square sigma S n square. Is less than infinity and sigma t n square is less than infinity. Sigma s yes suffix n square is less than infinity for all n is equal to one to infinity and sigma t n square is also less than infinity. N is equal to one to infinity. That is, that is. Sigma s n square converges, and sigma t n square converges. Sigma s n square n is equal to one to infinity, and sigma t n square n is equal to one to infinity converges. Converges. Both sequence, both series converges. therefore therefore the sequence 
एस एन स्क्वायर कॉन्वर्जेस टी एन स्क्वायर कॉन्वर्जेस हेंस एस एन एंड टी एन बोथ बिलोंग्स टू यल स्क्वायर एस एन एंड टी एन बिलोंग्स टू यल स्क्वायर देर फोर बाई थियरम नंबर वन ऑन कॉन्वर्जेंस ऑफ सीरीज कॉन्वर्जेंस ऑफ सीरीज सिग्मा यस एन स्क्वायर प्लस टी एन स्क्वायर कॉन्वर्जेंस सिग्मा यस एन स्क्वायर प्लस टी एन स्क्वायर एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी कॉन्वर्जेंस कॉन्वर्जेंस Also, also sigma S n into T n converges. Also, sigma S n into T n n is equal to one to infinity by theorem one. Or, or Schwarz inequality S n into T n n. Is equal to one to infinity converges. Converges. Now, S n plus T n bracket square is equal to S n square plus two times S n into T n plus T n square. For all n belongs to I. For every n belongs to I. I is set of positive integer. Therefore, sigma n is equal to one to infinity s n plus t n. S n plus t n bracket square is equal to sigma s n square n is equal to one to infinity. Plus two times summation s n into t n n is equal to one to infinity plus summation t n square n is equal to one to infinity one to infinity converges. This is say two. This is say three. Therefore, from one, two, and three. From one, two, and three, summation s n plus t n bracket square n is equal to one to infinity converges. Converges. S n plus t n bracket square. Its summation n is equal to one to infinity converges. Therefore, by definition of the class L square, yes plus t, which is equal to sequence S n plus t n, n is equal to one to infinity, is in L square. Yes plus t belongs to L square. Sequence S n plus t n belongs to. Class L square, class L square. <coughs> Now we prove the inequality. Now we prove the inequality from three. But we know, but we know Schwarz inequality. Schwarz. Inequality. Sigma n is equal to one to infinity mod of s n into t n is less than or equal to is less than or equal to <coughs> sigma n is equal to one to infinity. 
एस एन स्क्वेर रेस टू वन बाई टू इन टू सिग्मा टी एन स्क्वेर रेस टू वन बाई टू फॉर ऑल एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इनफिनिटी दिस इज ए रिलेशन नंबर फोर यूजिंग फोर इन इक्वेशन थ्री यूजिंग फोर इन इक्वेशन थ्री इक्वेशन थ्री वी गेट सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन प्लस टी एन ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू सिग्मा एस एन स्क्वेर सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन स्क्वेर प्लस टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन स्क्वेर रेस टू वन हा इन टू समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी टी एन स्क्वेर रेस टू वन बाई टू प्लस समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी टी एन स्क्वेर टी एन स्क्वेर यूजिंग फोर इन थ्री इज इक्वल टू आर एच एस कैन बी रिटर्न एज सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन स्क्वेर रेस टू वन बाई टू रेस टू एस एन स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट रेस टू वन बाई टू प्लस सिग्मा टी एन स्क्वेर एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी ब्रैकेट रेस टू वन बाय टू होल स्क्वेर स्क्वेर ऑफ फर्स्ट अर्थ दैट इज सिग्मा एस एन स्क्वेर प्लस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू टाइम्स द टू समेशन दैट इज सेकेंड टर्म एंड स्क्वेर ऑफ सेकेंड टर्म दैट इज सिग्मा टी एन स्क्वेर देर फोर समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन प्लस टी एन ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर लेस देन और इक्वल टू सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट रेस टू वन बाई टू प्लस सिग्मा टी एन स्क्वेर एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी ब्रैकेट रेस टू हाफ स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट कंप्लीट ब्रैकेट रेस टू टू टेकिंग स्क्वेर रूट ऑन बोथ दी साइड टेकिंग पॉजिटिव स्क्वेर रूट स्क्वेर रूट वी ऑपन वी गेट सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन प्लस टी एन ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट रेस्ट टू वन बाई टू लेस इक्वल्स सिग्मा एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन स्क्वेर रेस टू वन बाई टू रेस टू वन बाई टू प्लस समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी टी एन स्क्वेर रेस टू वन बाई टू Hence the proof of the Minkowski's inequality. Hence the proof. Proof of the Minkowski's inequality. mean cost is inequality that is if s is equal to sn and t is equal to tn n is equal to 1 to infinity r in l square then s plus t is in l square and sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity sn plus tn bracket square bracket raised to 1 by 2 is less than or equal to sigma sn square raised to 1 half plus sigma sn square tn square raised to 1 by 2
raised to 1 upon 2. Now we see the definition of norm. <coughs> definition of norm. Definition. <coughs> if S is equal to Sn, if S is equal to Sn, N is equal to 1 to infinity, is an element of L square. Is an element element of L square. We define we define norm S or norm S2 called a norm of S called norm of S as norm of S is equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity S n square raised to 1 by 2 sigma S n square raised to 1 by 2 norm norm of S is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity s n square raised to 1 half s n square raised to 1 half this is the definition of norm if the sequence s is equal to s n n is equal to 1 to infinity is in l square then norm of s is equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity s n square bracket raised to one half that is under root of s1 square plus s2 square plus s3 square plus and so on sn minus one square plus sn square this is the definition of norm norm now we write theorem on norm theorem number Three theorem number three. The statement of theorem three. Theorem three. The norm for the sequence in L square. The norm for the sequence in L2 or L square has following properties has following properties properties number one norm of S is always non-negative for all S belongs to L square Second one, norm of S is equal to zero if and only if, if and only if S is equal to zero, N is equal to one to infinity. Number third, norm of C times C. C times S is equal to C times mod of C times norm of S for all C belongs to R. C belongs to R. Number four norm of S plus T is less equals norm of S plus norm of T. Norm of S plus norm of T. Proof of this theorem. Number first, since S is equal to Sn, N is equal to 1 to infinity is in L square. 
सेंस बाय डेफिनेशन ऑफ नॉर्म यस इज इक्वल टू यस एन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी इज इन यल स्क्वायर इज इन यल स्क्वायर देर फोर नॉर्म ऑफ यस इज इक्वल टू समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी एस एन स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट रेस टू वन हाफ ब्रैकेट रेस टू वन हाफ दट इज अंडर रूट ऑफ यस वन स्क्वेर प्लस यस टू स्क्वेर प्लस यस थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस एंड सो ऑन एस एन स्क्वेर and so on s suffix n square this is always greater than or equal to zero second one since or suppose norm of Yes is equal to zero. This implies, by definition, sigma n is equal to one to infinity. Yes, n square raised to one half is also equal to zero. <coughs> Squaring both the sides, we obtain sigma yes n square. Is equal to zero for all n is equal to one to infinity. Taking positive square root, we obtain above step that is sigma s n square raised to one half is equal to zero. This result is true if and only if if and only if s n is equal to zero or s n square is equal to zero. Each element of this summation that is. S1 square plus S2 square plus and so on Sn square and so on is equal to zero. This implies Sn is equal to zero for all n belongs to I. For every n belongs to I. This implies S is equal to Sn. N is equal to one to infinity is equal to zero for all n is equal to one to infinity. This is the proof of second. Now we write third. Norm of norm of c times s is equal to summation n is equal to one to infinity c times s n bracket square bracket raised to one by two is equal to. Is equal to summation n is equal to one to infinity c square into s n square bracket raised to one half is equal to square bracket modulus of c square into sigma n is equal to one to infinity s n square raised to one half one by two is equal to Taking positive square root, we obtain mod of c into sigma n is equal to one to infinity s n square raised to one half, which is equal to mod c into norm of yes, norm of yes. This is the proof of property three. Number four, number four is. The Minkowski inequality. Right. The proof of the Minkowski Minkowski inequality. Hence the proof of theorem three. Hence 
the proof of theorem 3 hence the proof of theorem 3 now we see some problems examples example number one which of the following sequences are in L square which of the following following sequences sequences are in L square are in L2 L2 question mark question mark A sequence 1 upon log of n n is equal to 1 to infinity b b sequence 1 upon e to the power n n is equal to 1 to infinity n is equal to 1 to infinity solution solution a is 1 upon log of n n is equal to 1 to infinity log of 1 is 0 1 upon 0 is infinity hence this result is not true for n is equal to 1 therefore we take sequence n is equal to 2 to infinity let s is equal to Sn, n is equal to 1 to infinity is equal to 1 over log of n, n is equal to 2 to infinity. Therefore, we write this sequence also n is equal to 2 to infinity. Here, Sn is equal to 1 by log of n. For all n is equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on and so on. Sn square, Sn square is equal to 1 upon log of n bracket square log of n bracket square. Sigma Sn square Sigma Sn square n is equal to 2 to infinity is equal to Sigma 1 upon log of n bracket square n is equal to 2 to infinity n is equal to 2 to infinity. This sequence 1 upon log of n bracket square bracket square for all n is equal to 2 to infinity 2 to infinity. Now we apply Cauchy's condensation test for convergence of the series. 2 raised to n into a suffix 2 raised to n. This is equal to summation n is equal to 1, 2 to infinity. Say an, an. Here an is equal to a suffix n is equal to 1 upon log of n bracket square. For all n is equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on. 2 raised to n into a suffix 2 raised to n. Sigma 2 raised to n into a suffix 2 raised to n. n is equal to 1 to infinity is equal to sigma n is equal to 2 to infinity not 1 to or this is true for n is equal to 1 also 
वन टू इन्फिनिटी टू रेस्ट टू एन इन टू ए सफिक्स टू रेस्ट टू एन इज वन अपॉन लॉग ऑफ टू रेस्ट टू एन ब्रैकेट रेस्ट टू ब्रैकेट रेस्ट टू टू नॉट एन दिस इज ब्रैकेट रेस्ट टू टू इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी टू रेस्ट टू एन अपॉन एन लॉग ऑफ टू ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर विच इज इक्वल टू विच इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन लॉग ऑफ टू ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर लॉग टू ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर इन टू समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इन्फिनिटी टू रेस्ट टू एन अपॉन एन स्क्वायर एन स्क्वायर लेट Sigma b n n is equal to one to infinity is equal to sigma two raised to n upon n square n is equal to one to infinity. B n is equal to two raised to n upon n square. For all n belongs to I. Therefore, B n plus one is equal to two raised to n plus one upon n plus one bracket square. Limit n tends to infinity of modulus of b n plus one upon b n equal to two raised to n plus one upon n plus one bracket square upon two raised to n upon n square that is into n square upon two to the power n is equal to two times n square upon n plus one bracket square. Now we write the limit of each term. That is limit n tends to infinity of R H S also. Limit n tends to infinity of two raised to n plus one upon n plus one whole square into n square upon two to the power n. Is equal to limit n tends to infinity of two times limit n tends to infinity of two times n square upon n plus one whole square is equal to limit n tends to infinity of n upon n plus one whole square two times two times and is equal to two. Is equal to two times limit n tends to infinity of one upon one plus one by n whole square is equal to two times one upon one plus zero is equal to two. Two is greater than one. Therefore, by ratio test, ratio test sigma b n. n is equal to 1 to infinity sigma 2 raised to n upon n square n is equal to 1 to infinity diverges diverges therefore therefore sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 2 raised to n into a sub x 2 raised to n which is equal to 1 upon log of 2 Whole square into sigma two raised to n upon n square n is equal to one to infinity diverges. Therefore, by Cauchy's condensation test, Cauchy's condensation condensation test. Sigma n is equal to two to infinity a n. Sigma n is equal to two to infinity a n, which is equal to which is equal to summation n is equal to two to infinity one upon log of n bracket square, which is equal to sigma. Yes, n square n is equal to one to infinity diverges. 
diverges. Therefore, therefore, the sequence, the sequence. Yes is equal to yes n. N is equal to two to infinity. This is two to infinity, not one to infinity. Is equal to one upon log of n. N is equal to two to infinity. Is not in L square. Not in L square. Or or s is equal to one up s n, which is equal to. One upon log of n, n is equal to two to infinity, is not in L square. That is, does not belongs to L square. Does not belongs to class L square. Hence the solution of A. Now we solve B. Now we solve B. Let Yes is equal to yes n. N is equal to one to infinity. Is equal to one upon e to the power n. N is equal to one to infinity. N is equal to one to infinity. Sigma s n square. Sigma s n square. N is equal to one to infinity. Is equal to sigma. One upon e raised to n bracket square n is equal to one to infinity is equal to summation n is equal to one to infinity one upon e to the power two n e to the power two n is equal to say sigma e n n is equal to one to infinity. Sigma e n n is equal to one to infinity. Say since a n is equal to here a n is equal to one upon e to the power two n for every n belongs to I. We apply root test. Limit n times to infinity of nth root of mod a n is equal to limit n times to infinity of nth root of nth root of one upon e to the power two n, which is equal to limit n times to infinity of one upon e raised to two n raised to one by n. By using law of indices, we obtain limit n times to infinity of one upon e to the power two raised to two e to the power two n raised to one by n, which is equal to which is equal to by law of indices limit n times to infinity of One upon e square, which is equal to one upon e square. E lies between two and three. Therefore, e square is also one upon e square is less than one. Therefore, by root test, by root test, root test, sigma a n. Sigma a n n is equal to one to infinity is equal to sigma one upon e to the power two n n is equal to one to infinity is equal to sigma s n square n is equal to one to infinity converges converges absolutely absolutely. Converges absolutely. Absolutely, convergence implies convergence. Therefore, therefore, sigma s n square converges. Therefore, the sequence s is equal to s n. N is equal to one to infinity. Is equal to one by n. Uh, one upon e to the power n. n is equal to 1 to infinity is in l square 
or we write s is equal to Sn, n is equal to 1 to infinity is equal to 1 upon e to the power n, n is equal to 1 to infinity belongs to L2, class L2. Hence the solution of B. Hence the solution of B. Example. Give an example of sequence. Give an example. Example of a sequence. Of a sequence. Yes and n is equal to 1 to infinity. Yes and n is equal to 1 to infinity in L2 such that such that sigma mod S n is equal to infinity. N is equal to 1 to infinity. Sigma as mod S n is equal to infinity. Solution. Let sequence S is equal to S n. N is equal to 1 to infinity is equal to 1 upon N. N is 1 upon N. 1 upon root n. Sn is in L square. Sigma mod. Sigma mod. Sn is equal to infinity. One upon n. N is equal to one to n. Here, Sn is equal to 1 by n for every n belongs to i. For every positive integer, n belongs to i. Sn square is equal to 1 upon n square for every n belongs to i. 1 upon n square for every n belongs to i. Sigma Sn square is equal to sigma 1 upon n square. n is equal to 1 to infinity. n is equal to 1 to infinity. But sigma 1 upon n square is p series with p is equal to 2 greater than 1 and hence convergent. But we know, we know Sigma 1 upon n square, n is equal to 1 to infinity, is P series with P is equal to 2 greater than 1 and hence Sigma 1 upon n square, n is equal to 1 to infinity, is convergent. Convergent. Therefore, sigma Sn square is equal to sigma 1 upon n square is less than infinity. Therefore, sigma Sn square n is equal to 1 to infinity is equal to sigma 1 upon n square n is equal to 1 to infinity is less than infinity. Less than infinity. Therefore, by definition of the class L square, by definition, definition of the class L square, the class L square, <coughs> sequence S is equal to S and N is equal to 1 to infinity which is equal to 1 upon n, n is equal to 1 to infinity, is in L square, is an class L square. Or you may write, S is equal to sequence Sn, 
n is equal to 1 to infinity is equal to 1 by n, n is equal to 1 to infinity belongs to L square, belongs to L square. But sigma mod a mod Sn, but sigma mod Sn is equal to sigma 1 by n, n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 to infinity. This is the harmonic series and the harmonic series sigma 1 upon n is divergent. This is the harmonic, harmonic, harmonic series. Harmonic series, the harmonic series series sigma 1 upon n, n is equal to 1 to infinity is divergent. Divergent. It diverges to infinity. Therefore, sigma mod Sn is equal to sigma 1 upon n is equal to infinity for all n is equal to 1 to infinity. For all n is equal to 1 to infinity. Therefore, Sn is in L square but sigma mod Sn is equal to infinity. Hence the solution of this problem. Now we pro prove this another problem <coughs> example if a n sequence a suffix n n is equal to 1 to infinity belongs to l square l2 prove that Prove that sigma a n upon n, sigma a suffix n upon n, n is equal to 1 to infinity converges absolutely, converges absolutely, converges absolutely. Solution, solution, since by hypothesis sequence a n, n is equal to 1 to infinity belongs to L square, belongs to L square, therefore sigma a n square, n is equal to 1 to infinity is less than infinity is less than infinity that is sigma a n square converges sigma a n square converges sigma a n square converges also we know also we know sigma 1 upon n square converges also we know sigma 1 upon n square n is equal to 1 to infinity converges converges by Schwarz inequality inequality Schwarz inequality sigma sn into tn sigma sn into tn n is equal to 1 to infinity is less than or equal to sigma sn square raised to 1 half into sigma tn square raised to 1 by 2 n is equal to 1 to infinity we take Sn is equal to An and Tn is equal to 1 by N. Tn is equal to 1 upon N. 
here is modulus let sn is equal to an and tn is equal to 1 by n this is a 1 this is a 2 this is a 3 let s n is equal to an tn is equal to 1 upon n therefore 3 becomes therefore 3 becomes sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity an into 1 upon n that is an upon n is modulus is less than or equal to sigma sn square that is an square bracket raised to 1 by 2 for all n is equal to 1 to infinity sigma 1 upon n square n is equal to 1 to infinity bracket rest 1 by 2 from 1 and 2 RHS converges therefore therefore the series on LHS converges this is a 4 from 1 2 and 4 from 1 2 and 4 we say that sigma a n upon n converges sigma a n upon n converges absolutely or sigma mod of a n upon n converges we write Sigma a n upon n mod of this term n is equal to 1 to infinity converges. Therefore, sigma a n upon n, n is equal to 1 to infinity. Therefore, by definition of, by definition of absolutely convergent series, a n upon n converges absolutely absolutely hence the solution of the problem hence the solution hence the solution thank you for watching the video